Welcome back to another market update for the city of San Jose. I'm Brad Gill, Next Stone Lifestyles. Today is June 26, 2023. Let's go ahead and see what's happening around San Jose. First up, we're going to take a look at our active and pending inventory. So we have 539 total homes, condominiums, um, and townhouses available for sale versus 412 pending uh, contracts. So we're starting to pull a little bit ahead in the inventory versus our pending sale, but there's just not a lot of uh, leftover inventory. Our market absorption rate is pretty high right now. Uh, we're only running about a, um, a little over a month's worth of inventory across the city. If you compare that to last week, you'll see the numbers are slightly changing and improving as far as providing more options for a buyer, um, which should be normalizing for this time of year as we're heading into the summertime. We would expect to have more inventory available and a lot lower uh, buyer activity. For instance, if we look back to June 2022, we had 1,047 units on the market available for sale, while we had 532 pending contracts. So quite a significant difference between this year and last year. Uh, of course, a lot of that has to do with the fact that a, a number of homeowners within certain price ranges have really low interest rates and are still holding back from potentially selling those homes and moving up into the upper or move up market. Uh, more on that in a little bit though. Uh, next up, we have our inventory trend. So this week we had 187 units. Uh, again, single family homes, condominiums, townhouses come to the market versus last week, uh, flat, same number. If we compare that to a year ago, we're about 100 units uh, per week under where we were last year. So you can kind of see the struggle we're having with getting that inventory and enough inventory stacked up so the buyers have more choice. Uh, what's, what's happening on the demand side? Demand's pretty steady. 108 units went under contract over the past seven days consistent with last week at 109, which is actually pretty consistent with where we were last year too, when we had 99 units under contract. Uh, looking at some market expectations, 22 units came off market over the last seven days. That's a pretty low number. Um, even though it's still higher than last week when we had only 17 come off market. But if you compare that to a year ago, we had 58 units coming off on a weekly basis. Of course, last year is where we had that knee-jerk reaction when interest rates went from 3% upwards towards 5%. In fact, in 2022, we were at 5.81% in interest rate versus where we are today at 6.67. So you would think the numbers would be reversed, but we've been sitting in the high 6% range now for the better part of this year. Uh, last to cover is price changes. This week we saw 19% of our inventory undergo a price change compared to last week at 18%, compared to last year at 29%. So actually it was last year where we had more of a balanced market um, because about 30% of the homes on the market do undergo a price change where that's increasing the price or decreasing the price in what we call a well-balanced market. So let's get in some of the breakdowns um, and then we'll start talking about some of our recent transactions. So what are we gonna take away from the numbers we just covered? Number one, we have what's called flat inventory. And we're seeing that not only here in Silicon Valley, but we're actually hearing reports of that all across the United States. So there is what's called a lock-in effect going on and that's where there's a lot of homeowners that have really low interest rates, two and a half to 3% range, that are unwilling to sell the current property because they're looking at purchasing a larger home, but they're realizing they're gonna give up this 2.5% interest rate for 6.67%, and the numbers are just not working out for them. So we have a lot of reluctant sellers who are sitting on the sideline waiting to see when interest rates start coming down. So we may not see inventory open up until these stubbornly high interest rates really start coming down, maybe, by the end of this year or into the beginning of the next year. 
That brings us to our next point, stubborn interest rates. They are becoming normal. Buyer sentiment is still strong. So buyers are definitely getting used to the higher interest rates. And a lot of that is first time home buyers, because again, I think we are still lacking that move up buyer. So again, as rates start coming down, I think we're gonna see a lot more movement, a lot more inventory open up. But as it is right now, it's a pretty frozen market. Uh, because of that, we have really low days on market for the entry level um, price range within our marketplace. And we also have an increased sales price to list price ratio. Looking at some recent transactions of ours, we had a single family home in Cambrian Park that we put under contract after only being on the market for seven days. And it went for 20% premium above the asking price with 24 offers received. Uh, we also had a single family home in Morgan Hill on the market just five days, received nine offers and is uh, or sold for 18% premium above the asking price. But if we're looking at a different market, we're shifting away from that single family home entry level market into, for instance, the condominium or townhouse market. In South San Jose, Santa Teresa area, we have a condo on the market 28 days before receiving a few offers and finally settling, uh, selling for 1% below the asking price. So there's definitely a big difference in what's happening between market segments, property types, as well as price ranges. I hope you found this information valuable. And if you'd like to discuss a strategy for buying or selling our current marketplace, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and looking forward to bringing you another market update soon.